another set of questions on the transition elements topic so this one's number 12 and these are all multiple choice questions so a little bit different to all the other ones that we've done so far as always the link to the questions is in the description of the video so just click on that have a go at the questions and then play on for the answers okay so number one what's the bonding between the ligands and the metal ion in that complex ion of iron its date of covalence or d Coordinate bonding is the other name for it. So that's where the ligand um, supplies or donates a pair of electrons to bond to the central transition metal ion. Number two, notice it says um, aqueous chromium three plus ions are reacted with an excess hydroxide. If it was just um, a small amount, you would get the precipitate chromium three hydroxide, but that actually dissolves in an excess and you get this ion here. So the answer is A. Question three, so which of these electron configurations are correct? So the chromium atom is that, the copper atom is that, and for number three you'll notice I've written up the electron configuration of the iron atom. So to become the two plus ion it needs to lose these two electrons, the 4s2 electrons, so that wouldn't give that configuration so three was wrong, which means that only one and two are correct, so the answer was B. Number four now, so which of these statements are correct about this complex of platinum? You'll notice I've drawn up the two isomers of um, the complex. So we've got transplatin, where the chlorines or the ammonias are 180 degrees apart. The cis platin is where these are 90 degrees apart. That's kind of given an answer away to one of the questions. Okay, so is one of the stereoisomers used as an anti-cancer drug? Yes, because it's the cis isomer. Are the bond angles 109.5 degrees? No, these aren't tetrahedral, they're square planar. So like I said a minute ago, 90 degree angle, so all of these angles are 90 degrees. So statement two is incorrect. Does it have optical isomers? So is the mirror image of that non-superimposable on that? Likewise there, and the answer to that is no, they are completely superimposable, so only statement one is correct, which makes the answer D. So moving on to number five now, what's the number of stereoisomers that this complex of nickel can form? So you'll notice I've drawn up the trans isomer, that's where the chlorines all these bidentate ligands are 180 degrees apart. The cis version is where the, let's say the chlorines are 90 degrees apart. So is there another possibility or is the answer gonna be two? Well, is the mirror image of this gonna be superimposable or not on this? The answer is it is superimposable, just plonk straight on top. So we don't get optical isomers of the trans version what about this one, the cis version? So there is the mirror image of that and this isn't superimposable on that. So this is a pair or these are a pair of optical isomers. So one, two, three. So the answer was B. And finally, number six, which properties are correct for a transition element? So first one, the element has atoms with a partially filled D subshell. So I've drawn up the, um, the shorthand configuration for scandium. So you can see it does have um, partially filled um, 3D subshell because this can hold up to 10. It's only got one in it. So is it a transition element? Well, it's not because the only ion it forms is the 3 plus ion, which has that electron configuration. And the definition of a transition element is it has to be able to form an ion with an incomplete or partially filled D subshell. Well, you can see this hasn't even got any D electrons, therefore it's not a transition element. So statement one was wrong. Statement two, the existence of more than one oxidation state in its compounds. So if we go for something like iron, iron can form two plus and three plus. So that is correct. And finally, formation of coloured ions. Well, if we just stick with the iron 2, iron 3, these tend to be sort of green in colour. These tend to be sort of orangey yellow in colour. So yes, they can form coloured ions, 
So statement three was correct as well. So the answer was C.